Windows 11 has a really nice feature that allows us to reset our network connections. This is something that I used to have to do using a command prompt or a PowerShell before, but now there's a really simple way to do it. So if we go to the Start button, click on Settings, and I'll tell you why it is you might need to do it here in a second, and then click on Network and Internet, and then click on Advanced Network Settings. And once we're in advanced network settings, we can click on network reset. So why do we need to do this? Well, simple reasons might be is if there's a duplicate IP address on the network. So you'll see a little pop up in the bottom right hand corner. Sometimes it says your IP address is a duplicate IP address. That's one reason to hit the reset button. Another one would be is if you have a static IP address and you've changed from one network to another and it's a different subnet and you can't figure out why it is you can't get on the Internet. Well, it's because you have a static IP address and it's not the same network uh, address. So you click reset and it will change you to DHCP after it restarts. Now the third reason is actually the most useful reason for me as a, a, an instructor and professor. So many times I've seen students where they end up getting uh, two different gateways. So if I go to a command prompt for instance and I'm going to use a Windows terminal and I type in ipconfig slash all and hit enter. And I see my default gateway. Now you see my default gateway here is, is 192.168.21.1. If you see a default gateway of 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0, .0 as well as this other gateway, or maybe even it's just the zeros with nothing else, then that means that you've got a problem with your TCP IP stack. And you used to have to type in the netsh command and then followed by a bunch of other uh, things to, to fix that problem. But now all you got to do is hit the reset button and it resets the TCP IP stack. It also uh, will reset the Windows sockets, which is another netsh command you used to have to do. And when you restart, you should be able to get right back on the internet and everything should be working for you again.